I also don't know who the two of you are, but you've literally been cowering at my feet since this started. Thank you, I, do, I know I do have nice shoes, but I didn't realize the two of you would be staring at them. The, what comedy show have you been to? Because I feel like last time you were at a comedy show, there was crowd interaction and then someone died. What is your name? By the way, so, thus far, audience members' names, curveballs. This guy coming across named, Tr you should be Ulysses and you should be Trevor. <laughs> I like how you turned around, that's true. I keep telling Carrie, call me Ulysses. I don't know how I just spiced up your marriage, but I'm really excited to be a part of it. You're gonna play Ulysses tonight? I like how we all just did that in our own heads. <laughs> Almost 200 people, each individually, pictured what that could be and just went, yuck. <laughs> well, I, good luck surrendering at Appomattox. <laughs> I, wanna know, I want you all to know I'm a Canadian, and I just pulled that piece of American Civil War. Yeah, that's right, everybody. Evidently, the time I got stoned and listened to NPR really sunk in. <laughs> all right. What's your name? I assume it's like Ramirez Cliff Switchblade the Fifth. Blue. Is your name Blue? Blue. Lou. Blue. Come on, man. You're in the arena with Ulysses and old Trev. <laughs> old dirty Trev. <laughs> your name is Lou. The only way you could spice this up, it just turns out your name is Lou and it's just short for something ridiculous. You know what I mean? What's it short for? <laughs> it is. Let's, let's go, Lou. Lupin? Lupin? You're named after the study of wolves. I want to point out, none of you were picturing me being able to say that's what that means. No, no, your applause is cheap now, but it makes sense coming from that guy because you look like you were a goth now. And not a cool goth, you know what I mean? Uh, like, just 16, just dark mascara running. They, the bullies squished my orange Julius. Okay, a lot of bullies here tonight. <laughs> so your name is Lupin. And what, what? I just, by the way, saw Trevor's text messages. And I'm gonna just say this right now. I know we're all looking at Trevor and thinking he went upsize on the, on the font. Incorrect, factory settings. <laughs> Trev, hats off. Now, back to you, werewolf boy. What is your name? Joanna. Joanna. Well, let me guess, that's short, oh, what's that short for? It's actually short for Great Satan. Now, that was a, where, where, where did you find this from? I should have just stayed talking to you two. We could have talked, how do you like your martini, Trev? Oh, uh, you know, actually, I preferred it stirred and not shaken, the opposite of the James Bond. We could find out how you guys had met. Instead, I talked to Ulysses and this 37-year-old at the brink of a breakup, and then talked to Lupin and Joanna, and they both look like they work at, you know, ski lifts at Big Bear, but... <laughs> The season was bad, you know what I mean? I also would like to point out, every time I talk to an audience member in the front row, the people directly besides them start freaking out like they are seconds away from being urinate. <laughs> you, sir, look like a tough Orange County contractor or something. Like, what do you do professionally, my friend? You work for a healthcare company. That didn't seem shady at all, except you kept rubbing your hands on your legs. Like you went, I work for a healthcare company. And I was like, what do you do? And I was like, I'm the one that buries the bodies when the experiments go bad. You know what I mean? Like, what's your name? Brian. I like you, Brian. 